everyone. I brought my husband here today from the other room. <laughs> I brought him real far to tell you uh, his experiences and the honest truth about what he's going through as a guy who did not elect to do a raw vegan trial on his own. He's doing this for me and hopefully will be doing some of this for himself along the way. But anyway, I want to hear what he has to say and I know that you do too. So, um, why don't you... <laughs> I couldn't resist. There's my raw and I eating. <laughs> so tell us. <laughs> Alright. So, first, my first question for you is, what was it like for you, if you can remember back to day one, what's something that sticks out in your mind the first day going through this? Good or bad? Just the most memorable <clears throat> thing for first day. The uh, underripe oranges. Oh, I do remember that. Yes. That kind of that yeah. yeah. No. Always get ripe fruit, and I know how to pick ripe fruit, but I didn't look that day. So that is my bad and learn lesson learned. Won't be doing that again. Hopefully not. That's kind of good. So we're two weeks, about, yeah, almost exactly two weeks into it now. One week left. <laughs> what has been the lowest experience for you throughout this? What's, what did you like the least? Honestly, the no warm food. I mean, we're in, you know, sad as this is to say it's Texas, so it's not really cold, cold. But we were in the middle of winter here. And, yeah, there are those days when it's cold outside and you just want to go inside and eat something hot. It doesn't work so well doing this. Okay. And now two weeks in, what has been the best highlight of this experience? So far, probably finally figuring out some things that are more edible than others. Okay, and then along with the smoothie and stuff like that, okay. way better than the other dishes. And along those lines, what is your favorite food? If you could pick just one thing that was your absolute favorite out of these two weeks, what's the shining star? Like is it like recipe wise or because I mean I can say celery with peanut butter on it. There you go. Celery with peanut butter on it. But I don't know if that was, you know. No, that's not that's meal fine. Not having to do that more. So anyway. The yeah. biggest thing that sticks out in your mind, celery with peanut butter. Good. Easy. Which is funny, when I was growing up, that was one of the things you could kill me with. I could not stand ants on a log or anything like that. But I enjoy it now with almond butter. <laughs> and physically, um, can you please describe to everybody, since you were a meat eater before this, I was a vegetarian, so you're having to go through a lot more of a transition. So what is that like physically? I don't know. So far, I'm feeling a little bit more tired, I think, than I was prior. And, um, yeah, it's weird trying to eat. It feels like you're eating so much more food because everything's, you know, you've got less protein and less, um, calories. Yeah. Come on. Right? Water, right. water yeah. dense fiber yeah. foods. So, you know, to get the same thing as I'd get out of, you know, one eat on steak, for example eating like three platters full of food, so it's a little weird. <laughs> Who knows what the boys are doing to the other room? When we go back out there, there, there may be a catastrophe. Follow it's, a video it sounds what creative. happens when we get the room. <clears throat> okay, and... At least there's no chandeliers for them to be hanging from right now. Oh, thank goodness. Swinging from, they would swing from a chandelier. Mm -hmm. I just hand it. Yeah, yeah. It does seem to go better the more prep you put into it ahead of time. Um, I know we've noticed a marked increase in the amount of dishes being done um, for all the prepping and all that to put stuff together. But um, Thankfully there's not scrubbing. Yeah, that's something. It's looked out for something. Wiping up all the little particles that tend to go flying mm -hmm. when you're chopping vegetables. Yeah. One thing I wanted to mention is we started off 
with a three-day juice cleanse. That's the minimum juice cleanse that you'd want to do before transitioning into a healthier diet. And I've been following a 10-day vegan challenge where there's a whole bunch of meals like I explained in a previous video. So we've been following this, but we did our juice cleanse prior to it. And in following the comments of people from all around the world who are doing this, I notice a lot of people are going through detox issues and everybody has it unique to themselves. And I was just thinking when I was reading that and I told you how fortunate we were that we did a juice cleanse before transitioning because I think that really helped a lot and we avoided a lot of digestive issues going into this. Mildly uncomfortable the first day trying to get that first dinner in. That was a challenge. Let's not speak of that anymore. But we made it. We made it. So I think, you know, we're two weeks in. <laughs> Echo and everything. I like that. Yeah. I think, I think we're doing awesome. Especially you. You're doing awesome. Yeah. Still don't know I can eat, but... And I appreciate you very, very much. You two, you put a lot of time and effort into this. Aww. Nice to meet you. Love you. Love you too. And that concludes our interview. Signing off. <laughs>